The following video describes basic cash register programming, including setting the time and date, programming tax, and programming departments on your Sharp cash register. First, let's program the time and date. This is very important before you can use the device. But first, let's put the device in programming mode. With the key in, in the device, turn it all the way to the right, which is the Z slash PGM, which stands for program mode, because we're going to program something. First, let's enter the date in a six-digit format. Let's do December 25th, 2014. To do that, we enter 1-2 for the month of December, 2-5 for the 25th day, and 1-4 for the year. Once we've done that, hit the pound slash subtotal key, which is right there. And you'll see a small receipt print out. And you'll note right here, 12, 25, 14. The date is now set on your cash register. Remove that receipt. Next, let's set the time on your cash register using a four-digit format. We do that, let's enter 2.30 PM. And this is set in a 24-hour clock, our military time, some people call it. So we'll enter 1-4 for 2 in the afternoon and 2.30 until 30. So on the screen, you will see 14.30 or 2.30 in the afternoon. And when you're happy with that, simply enter the pound slash subtotal key. And you'll see a receipt print out. It has 2.30 right there at the top. So now you have your time and your date on the receipt. Next, a very important thing, and probably the main reason you bought your cash register, is to keep track of tax. So we need to set your local tax rates on the device. This cash register can hold up to four tax rates, and they're stored in locations numbered 1, 2, 3, and 4. Most commonly used is what we call tax 1. And in this example, I will set the tax to 6.25% for tax location 1. To do that is very simple. First, hit the 9 key, followed by the pound subtotal key, and then whatever tax location we want to set, 1 through 4. In my example, we're going to do tax location one, and then hit the at time key, and now we enter our tax rate. As I mentioned, it was 6.25%. There's the six, and if you're looking around for a decimal, point right up here, right below that void word, you'll see a little decimal point. So just hit that key, and you'll see the decimal come up on the screen, and then two, five. So now our tax rate will be 6.25, and to save that, we hit the cash no sale button. So now you can see from this, at the top of this receipt that just printed out, 6.25 followed by a couple of zeros, and then 1 in tax. So it's 6.25% in tax 1. So you've now programmed the tax in your cash register. Next you will see on the screen that we have pre-programmed some of these departments for you because it's very important that now you have a tax rate, we need to associate a department with it. This means, for example, if you are, uh, if the clothing in your city is taxed 6.25%, we need to associate a department. So for example, here are your department keys right here. We would say 6.25% with department one. We need to tell the cash register, okay, you know tax one, now let's associate it to department one. And we have done that uh, as the default setting. You'll see on the screen departments one, two, five, and six. There's department one, department two, department five, and department six. They all share the same keys. We've the default setting for these is for tax one. So if you're, if you're only using one tax in your town, you may be fine with the departments that we have pre-programmed. Departments three, seven are also non-taxable. These are these two keys here, this one key here that has department three and department seven. They are non-taxable. So if you have no tax on something, maybe food, for example, doesn't have tax in your area, you would use departments three and seven as the default. Um, and just to clarify, you can see a one button has two functions. If you just hit the button once, it's department three. If I hit the shift key and then that same button, you'll get department seven. That's how that works. And then there's also negative departments, which are often used for returns. For example, if you return something during the day, you would use department four. See, it's the red key, the red department key. We've made it red, so it's a, it's a negative. It's department four and department eight. Those are uh, saved as negative departments. So you may already have your departments associated properly with the tax 
that you've already programmed. If not, um, I will show you in the next few examples how to change the associations between the tax and the department. Next, let's give you an example if we want to make uh, Department uh, 3 Tax 1, for example. It's very easy to change that. So Department 3 Tax 1, we will hit this blue key up here first to begin that we say Tax 2 Shift RA key, that blue key. We're going to hit that once. And remember we said Tax 1, so let's hit 1 to represent Tax 1. And then the department we want to associate with it. I said Department 3, we hit that. And now you can see Department 3 is associated to Tax 1, so that we've changed that setting. Next, let's do something using the Shift key that I spoke about earlier. Let's make Department 5, which is located right here, up in the top right corner, and let's associate that with Tax 2. You may have uh, more than one tax rate in your area. For example, you might have a state and a local tax, so you might have it saved in Tax 2. So first, let's hit the same procedure we did before. We do Tax 2 Shift RA key, that blue one right there. And then next, we hit 2 for Tax 2. And then remember, we have to hit the Shift key to get to 5 because it's a, it's a Shift one there. So hit the Shift key first, followed by the larger department key there, which is Department 5. And now the receipt that printed out, you can see um, Department 5 is now Tax 2. And that's how it confirms that to you. And then one question I often get is um, many places have a state and local tax, so I need two taxes for one department. This is quite a common question we get. And I'm going to show you how to have two taxes associated with Department 1. So let's do that. We hit the, once again, we go to this Tax 2 Shift RA key, hit that. And now remember, we want two taxes. We want Tax 1 and Tax 2. And let's associate them to Department 1. We'll make it very simple. So we've hit 1, 2, and then Department 1. And as you can see here, taxes 1 and tax 2 are associated with department 1. So all that is printed out well. Now, if you want to make something non-taxable, say I want to make this department 5, I decided, you know what, I want this larger key to be my no tax key because I sell food and there's no tax on it. It's my most common one. So we have to set that to 0, to 0 tax. Once again, hit the shift tax slash RA key right there, followed by just a 0 because it's zero tax. And then we hit uh, shift and then to get to department five. Hit that button right there. And you can see from the receipt, department five has zero tax. This concludes the video for basic programming of your cash register.